So hello YouTube, I want to uh, welcome two of my, my girlfriends here. We have Adam on the left, my left, I'm not sure. Is that left on for you or right for you? I guess that's uh, right for you. Yes. My okay. left and then Matt on the right, two brothers, uh, both hey. single digit Q. Supposedly. Supposedly, they claim. Well, the, I just yeah, reviewed a game of theirs though. They're, they're mostly single digit Q. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Last game left some doubts. And... Yeah. You know, it happens. So anyway, we're gonna play. We're gonna play some Zengo, which, for those of you who don't know, is a three-person Go variant, uh, where we each alternate white and black every other move. So on my move, uh, I might play black, and then uh, what? What's the order? What? Do, what do you guys? Who wants to play first? I mean, so what? What makes sense? Uh, well, well, from from a viewing perspective, the way the cameras are lined up, at least on my screen, it would go Adam, Matt, and then me. Perfect. Okay. Sounds good. I'm confident that I can play a non-professional non opening move. Perfect. That's what we go for. So I really like Zengo as it's a way to, uh, to, to you know, have more active discussion between the players during the game since you're constantly alternating teams. And it forces players to think about the best moves for both colors, which is what you should be doing about any way. But so many, so many players get caught up with just finding the best move for themselves. They sometimes forget about thinking about what their opponent can do to them. So, I like Zengo. Have you guys played Zengo before? I have no idea. No. No? All right. Well, this will be exciting then. Yes. Yeah, we, we have played three-person Go one time. <laughs> we, we played the, uh, the, the, the variant that involves backstabbing and treachery. Mm. So, cool. Where there's actually three colors. Ah, yes, yes. I'm familiar with this one as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One time it was played, and, and only one time. I think. Nothing else. Like. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you play a move? Because I haven't seen anything yet. Oh, uh, there's a move. Sorry. Perfect. And then uh, yes. it says I have control, which is interesting. Is it? No. I... Can you play a move, Matt? Uh, yeah, I think so. Cool. Wait, so... Oh, I can make my own variation. Hold on. Oh, make... oh no. So we have to play a move for you. That's right, Matt. Right, right. So if I play this, you guys can't see that I just played a move, right? I cannot see. Correct. All right, perfect. So I want to play Q3. Q3. Perfect. All right, so are we, are we supposed to talk about these as we play them, or...? I mean, you can talk as much as you want, but I, I was, I was going to make snide comments. Okay, perfect. Oh, so now it's my turn. So I, I like dual four cores as white, so that's what I will play. Sure. Oh, and now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. You're gonna play Kobayashi. He might. Okay. I have not played. Um, I. I can't play that move. I can't play this move because it's bad. What? I don't. <laughs> Do what's in your heart. <laughs> I'm just saying, we, we just played a game that has this exact same. That's not true. That's true. Um, Do what you feel, Matt. There okay, we go. Okay. okay. I just, this is awful. I'm sorry. It's Shamari facing the wrong way. Oh, you guys can't see that I just played there. I want K3, please. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah, so that's a Shamari facing... Yeah, that's what I want. The direction that I can immediately play on. It's, that's right. It's that, right. That's right. So usually avoid it as black. Um, so it is more normal for black to make like a Kobayashi or make a, a normal low or high Chinese shape on the right. You could also approach it via the D16 stone as well. Any of those are playable, normal. Alright, so... Uh, I am not told... Yeah, I, I guess this... Maybe? Because that's the, the biggest near or the side of the most development potential for black right now? Sure. Yep. Yep. I think that's a fine move. I think another and also playable move uh, would have also been at C6, actually. It would be to prevent white from getting a double wing? Pre pre well, not only prevent getting a double wing, but basically forcing white to decide right now how are you going to develop that. And uh, it's 
I mean, it, it, it breaks up white. Basically, white has broken black, right, by playing on the side of the, the Shamari. So black isn't as interested in building something anymore. I mean, you can still, like, F6, F17 is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I think in this board position, like my own style, I'd be very tempted to play C6, though. Okay. Large knight. All right. Uh, I want C17, please. Okay. So what you're saying here is you left your corner open, so I'm just going to take it. Yeah, this is Joseki. The, la the large knight is uh, most commonly responded to with the corner move. I, I guess I guess no one ever plays large knight <laughs> in, in my games. So I see. Not, but but you play against Matt, and Matt just played it, so. Well, he's, I, did, he's, I mean, what he wants to play is <laughs> not the same as what actually plays. I see. So okay, so that's my turn, right? Yes. So I have to now decide. Not well. Okay. Well, so so I don't really want to split those stones, right? Because then uh, you already have a stone on the other side, and I have to like. Uh, but then this is like small. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what the correct direction to block here is. So I guess I'll I'll pick that way. Okay. That is uh, not Joseki, but that's okay. Is or this? I guess this is a special case, Joseki. But usually, usually you have to split the stones to get any sort of um, decent re result. In this case, yep. Uh, wait, we'll extend to e sixteen. Mm. That was the largest move? E16 extension? Yeah, that's an important move. Very important. I mean, yeah, I believe you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to imply that you're incorrect. Uh, I mean, why is that the largest move, I guess? That's a, that's a key shape point. So e E16 is basically sente. And it's basically sente for both players. Uh, if black gets e16, then black's invasion at around c11 becomes very potent. It perfects the shape for the corner. It starts to build the top. Uh, it does a lot of things. You guys play... Oh, you guys have played. Okay. I well, actually clicked on my screen. So I'm, I'm looking at this move here, and the reason for that is if you push in at E17, then blocking at E18 feels good, and then if you push at F16, then I can play G16, which also feels good, so... Uh, yeah, so so this a G18 is a, is a normal response, but it's probably not that okay. normal in this case. Uh, Maybe just because... It, it's, it's, it's very low. It's, it's very low. It doesn't have as much of an effect on other moves on the board. So, you know, I, in, this, in this case, I might even consider, I mean, it's okay. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's okay. Um, but always moves to consider, black could actually play E17 and just fill the hole and just remove the Audrey completely. Um, black could contemplate F16, but white will get a lot of, a lot of forcing moves from that move. Um, there is a move at G17. It's a little bit slow, but it actually does, you know, solidify the shape. And if black thinks the left-hand side could get really big, uh, B17 is actually also playable. Though it does feel a little okay. bit endgame-ish. But B17 is actually my favorite to play against Q players because they freak out. <laughs> but it's it's only a so-so move. Okay. Actually, yeah, this is... This feels, I feel it's totally safe because my... Yeah. Um, so... I don't want that to turn into territory for black, but I mean, even if it does, I have this giant thing, that's fine. Um, this is... whatever. <laughs> so, sure, I kind of like high here a little bit better, but, you know, I think this is playable. 
So, so do you like that better than approaching like the Q16 stone? I think approaching um, Q16. Is yeah, actually, I, again, if um, I think I think D, I would have played high. I would have played a D6. Okay. Um, but I also I also like a move at around like N3 is also pretty big. Um, okay. Yeah, it's the shape the shapes for black are really hard to develop. Like it's really a weird game. Yeah. <laughs> it's really just a weird game. <laughs> Um, so, hmm. I'm going to use up more of my clock on this move. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you my candidates. Uh, for me, candidates, I have a candidate E2. I have a candidate at M3. Uh, H3. And... And, you know, I kind of thought about D12 a little bit, but D12 might be a little bit too soon. Okay. You know, and I guess you could always play something like Q10 too, but that feels uninspired. Yeah, I was looking at Q10 and M3. Q10 because it feels like it's building something, and M3 because it is preventing white from making that, that two space extension. Yeah, the problem the problem with M three is that it sort of provokes White to play K five, and right now I think wh even Black actually has more territory. White has more potential in this type of game, so I'm not really happy about that exchange. Um, but it's also the reason why I'm partially hesitating on E two as well because, um, w you know, it it might give White just even more room to have potential. All right, but I'm going to go E two. Let's play E two. Okay, so so reason for E two versus like D two or D three? Yeah, so so they're very similar. Um, actually, D three is probably better. I should have probably played D three. <laughs> In retrospect, uh, I, mean, I just know that all three of those are like a submarine invasion kind of thing, but I don't mm -hmm. totally know the difference. Other than it seems like E two makes it so that White has a harder time. Letting black in the corner and building something on the bottom side, maybe. Well, I think I think I think E two also has some ladder variations, and black has the opposite corner. Um, okay. So we can actually use that stone in an E two variation. If we were to play D three, there's less ladder variations. Um, I guess they're still there though if, if white um, blocks on the outside. But uh, yeah, I think I think actually I like D three as well. Um, the move I would not play is F three. F3 no, is, right now as white? I, no, no, as black. I, instead of E2, e I would... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, like, can you see my cursor? <laughs> <laughs> I contemplate this move? No, white, white could contemplate uh, F3, but it is gambling a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. I mean, it, it feels like it's starting to build a ginormous box, but I, mean, I guess it's just way too big. Hmm. Oh, especially with the shoulder hit, um, like you're talking about at at D12, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but I really don't like this move hurting K3 either. So uh, I think I'm gonna go for it F3. Wow. All right. It's all up to Matt. I'll be scared. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I mean that, that looks like something that could be a really good move. So. This? Yeah. Which one are you talking about? Uh, C3. But that seems like he's going to be like, okay, live in the corner. I don't care. That's like super tiny. Oh. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. I. Yeah, and I guess that's what I'm saying with, with F3 is, is go ahead. I'm going to just build a really thick wall and then hope that I can get Sinte to come back and play like C10 or something. Mm -hmm. C10 might be a little deep, but yeah. Well, C C10 has white, I mean. Like, I, like as white, well, I'm hoping that yeah, but, if I can pull up a wall and then come back and play C10. Well, but, then... but still, C for white, C10 is still too um, defensive. It's too third line. Okay. Oh, D10 is what I meant to play. Oh, D10, yeah, yeah. Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't matter. 
I think I think I think most if you're gonna if you're gonna play outside the most normal is actually F two. Uh, uh, white, white plays E four by the way. What E four? What are you talking about? The blocking. Yeah, the black the black move doesn't actually accomplish anything, and it actually, um, you know, I mean, you're not going to cut right now, right? I I don't. I don't feel like I can because if I cut and yeah, because you can just you can just crawl in the third line if you yeah, want to. Yeah, it's not it's not very powerful of a cut. I was thinking you could come around to yeah, G three, but I mean, I guess that's okay anyway. Yeah, we, Black's actually gonna have a more much more difficult time living because of this exchange. I just wanted to make it interesting. <laughs> it was already an interesting game though. I, I wish it's certain next to it. Alright, so is there any way I mean it looks like main back can live in the corner. But for everyone watching, right, you should not push up like this unless you're going to cut. It, the, the cut doesn't work. It doesn't work. I can't play the cut. Right, so then we shouldn't have pushed up, that's all I'm saying. I'm just I'm just giving Matt a really hard time about his move here. Yes, you, yes, you. Uh, I, 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 He's got his new, uh, his new go handle's gonna be bad moves too. Yeah, see? <laughs> Join the club. Uh, okay, so this is totally crazy. I did, uh, I did just recently record my, uh, first game as a sandbagger at 3 Don. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think the last game I saw... Yeah, yeah, you, you, you ranked up in the last game, so I, I didn't, I didn't yeah. see one. Actually. I haven't uploaded it yet, though. I gotta edit the video first and, uh... You know, fix the sound and stuff, but it'll be up soon. Let me guess, you didn't open with the panuki, and think <laughs> I did not open with a panuki. Uh, okay, so does this work? I mean, if anything's gonna work. Yeah, I think I think you only have two options. I think you either play this, or you play F two, and I'm actually not 100 percent sure which one to play. I kind of feel like we still needed F two. Oh, it's my turn. Um, oh, I see. Huh. I mean, yes. So, so if if we play F two, it seems like White just takes the corner, and then we just kind of take an Atari and lit it on the side, maybe. Um, well, it's a little bit different because the E three stone has been exchanged. So it doesn't when when that stone's not there. After we play F two, our G three follow up is you know, very flexible. But in this case, uh, when we play G3, after F2, if, if white takes the corner, when we play G3, white just connects. Mm -hmm. um, and our shape is kind of bad. So that's why you play F2 and, uh, you know, first make white exchange. And you always have the cut later. You can always poke at E3 any time that the cut becomes available, but it's all right. It's not. I don't think yeah. it's a big deal. All right, I guess this is okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't are Are you gonna cut at C two? I was just thinking if if White pushed down first. I mean, like Black has to respond to this, and then they have less space in the corner now mm. um, for making life so you get more moves pushing them around you know, when you actually, around the, the B4 or something. Okay, all right. So actually, I didn't give this move serious enough consideration because you do, you well, here, I'm going to play D2, please. D2 is <laughs> only move, I think. But but twice now, Matt, when you, you're, you've, you've been presented with the opportunity to cut, you've pushed through and then not cut. Not that yeah. cutting was your fault, but the cut looked bad. Um, this one might be a little bit different, though, because actually after you push, you might have uh, a move at uh, B3. Yeah, that's fine. But it, it doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite kill. Like, we, like you have it. Like, like you, still, you can still play it, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. No, I guess it's bad. That's my turn. Uh, sure, that's fine. Why not? This is fine. This is fine. What else am I? I'm not gonna. Okay, so I'm not gonna like 
come down here. I'm, I'm not going to play at B2 because that's dumb. I'm not going to play at B... What? Four. Why is what? B2 dumb? Yeah, B2 is, is like, that's like the only thing that's going to make life there, right? Oh, okay, well, yeah. well, no, no. You, there, you push up that C4. There's a C4 can. push, yeah, that's kind of uh, yeah. okay. interesting. I thought if I do B2 that they would just already yeah. at actually, four. Yeah, actually, actually, this is... I, th I think I think Black just pushes out at C4. All right, all right. Yeah. This this okay. actually doesn't work for White. White's not if White has a stone at like E6, like then then we're good, right? I like this. I can make bad moves. And two moves later, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, is throw in a good move or not. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to play C5. So the good news for uh, for black though is that after white has basically made two bad exchanges, the cut at f4 actually is starting to look a lot more attractive. Not yet, but it's if, you know it's it's becoming more attractive because that. Then it, white responds at g3, and you can add the free move at f5. Yeah, but. Yeah. It, yeah, and then white makes shape. I mean, everybody, it's it's still not a good cut for black right now. But the thing is, before, like, black couldn't even really think about it. And now, all of a sudden, black can actually cut and make sure he has uh, Sente to deal to be able to follow up on it. So if black has more moves around there, you know, that's going to be a real issue. And this is all because the D4 white group doesn't have enough liberties anymore. Hmm. I guess spooking is bad. <sighs> Depends on the tanuki. Oh, okay, well, what would happen to you if you tanuki? What's the worst thing? I was thinking that that cuts the left round, so... Why not? Well, we just talked about it. Right? That four cut doesn't work yet. Right. right. Because they play at F5? No, you, I mean, they play at F5. Or G. No, but they don't have and then you keep where you're at. Yeah, and also also keep in mind, black also doesn't want to cut yet, because black also might just want to take G3 later for himself. Because black could clamp as well, or instead of cutting. Uh, so why that side? Yeah, so it seems like splitting on the right side. Yeah, it, feel, it feels like a, approaching the right side's bigger. Because now, like, I'm happy to... Well, actually, so... Uh, wait, it's next turn, right? I'll it's my turn. You. you don't get to play. No! Okay, sorry. My bad. My bad. That's right, you're bad. <laughs> shame, shame. Uh, alright, black plays p18. What? Isn't this... Isn't this the arm? Yes. Okay. This is in Japanese called susobaro, the foot sweep. Uh, okay, so... I think that I... Don't have any other 
That doesn't look good. Hey, Black has four corners. Black should resign. Does that end that yeah. That's a proverb. If Black gets all four corners, Black should resign. Black should resign? That's right. The second half of the proverb is, if White gets all four corners, Black should resign. I don't actually have any responses to the to the, the P eighteen man. It just seemed, it seemed mm. like it is like what would seem normal to me. Um, but, yeah, O eighteen is not one of them. But now Matt has to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Why the fifth line? Uh, it was a misclick. <laughs> no. Yeah, fourth line's the last victory. Fifth line. Line of... Oh. One more victory in the fourth line. Um, I, I was... <laughs> I don't know. It was bad. Okay, so I was thinking that if White came over underneath around, like, Q10 or something, then uh, when... If, if Black just extended, then it's threatening both the invading stone and those two stones up above. I don't know. You know, it seems it, like if I get pushed out, then I can make profit up above with those stones. You know, in, in the game I reviewed for you guys, this is the exact same fifth line crappy move you made. Like in the exact same space on the board, too, in that game. Is it? It's yeah. the exact same spot. So I wonder, I wonder if it's just that one spot on the board you like for some reason. Like you have an unhealthy attachment to it. <laughs> Probably. Some people like Tengen, some people like uh, P30. At least my play is consistent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I can't explain it, but it is. Um, all right, so that was weird. <laughs> Let's have White play Q14. Sorry, what? Q14. Q14, really? That work? Well, it's for you to figure out. It's not my turn. I don't know. That, uh, that looks pretty ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But my first instinct is always. I just want to take some change from it. I just I don't want to lose my corner. This looks this looks really really bad. Ah oh, man. Yeah, what about that? That looks really bad too. Thinking about attaching an R14 just to take the corner, but that just seems that just seems really bad because it's gonna make P13 it, like totally orphaned out there. Yeah, I'd see that is not using the P13 stone at all. So, but and if I play something like P14 to try to use it, well, actually, I wonder about what about this. What about this? Okay, well, I'm gonna play that one. Oh. 
That has a lot of cuts. Okay, not that. Hmm. Balance is now uh, overwhelming approval. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Okay, I, I want. I want to. I want to use that stone, so I'm going to try to separate the Q14 stone from the O17 and 18 stones. Mm -hmm. And so now I, and actually, see, I'm liking it more and the more it is. So then playing something like L17 to extend from blacks in the corner and, and attacking those two stones would be pretty good. So yeah, I, I think I like that again. Okay. I, uh, I'm still reading it out, actually. I can't... Instinctually, I don't like your move. <laughs> That's only instinct. I haven't actually verified that I don't like your move yet. It seems like it leaves so many defects in black shape is the problem. Like, it's hard for me to see myself liking a move that's going to lead to that many defects. Now, granted, white is weak, so maybe it's okay. But... Yeah. So would you prefer to play some? Well, yeah. No. Like the thing is, actually, like in this shape, like without if if P thirteen wasn't there, I'd like P fifteen a lot more. Sort of ironically, it just gives me a weird feeling. Yeah, man. I was looking at. P14, they try to accomplish something similar, but I feel like I just push these for free, the black box again, then just kind of, I don't know, maybe that matters. Yeah, but I think, I think, I think, yeah, I, I mean, the variation that I kind of expected was black P14, white goes and eats the whole corner, but black takes the outside and then can attack the two stones kind of thing. Um, kind of similar to what I was doing at here, except for a few more weaknesses, probably. Mm. Yeah, this way, this way, it's a pretty severe fight. What? This is why I'm aiming for constant surprise for Nick's Yeah, I'm then gonna hurt him. <laughs> so Matt, Matt, with the exception of the P13 stone, I think all of your like your last four moves have just been to push in exactly one space. So I'm thinking that all these stones are not super strongly uh, connected. If I start pushing, then I can start making use of that weakness and maybe make use of both those stones and hacking those things. But obviously that wasn't very good. <sighs> okay, I... <laughs> We're just going to block at Q17. I had two other really strong candidates. I also wanted to play Q13, but I think this is good enough, actually. Yeah, I think I think this is what White should have played before P seventeen. Like before the P seventeen exchange, Black's a lot weaker, right? But when you give Black Q seventeen, actually Black got an extra liberty in the corner, and that's really helpful to deal with this. This seems okay, White. Oh, I guess it depends on this. Well, okay. Actually, I was thinking that like a push block cut uh, on both sides. Maybe. Yeah, quite. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I think only move. Yeah, that's Damn. good. Disappointed. <laughs> it's a good move. It's a good move. Yeah. So I, before the the P seventeen exchange in this position, I really wanted to attach at like R sixteen. Was one of the things oh. White can do here. Oh. But not really an option. So. Oh man. Matt, come back on camera. <laughs> I need to see your face. How? Because you've made me so sad with that P seventeen push. That actually made black a lot stronger and made our Q fourteen group here a lot weaker. And I think I think actually here's here's the memo that maybe you guys missed. <laughs> when when black is trying to take the right hand side of the board with fifth line stones. And black is also trying to take the top of the board with second line stones, like G18. One of those two areas is going to be the bigger area. <laughs> oh, I can't play that. Uh, sorry, R13, please. What's Aaron got? I was trying to decide if I could just go ahead and attack the O18 group, but I think I maybe can't do that. But uh, does this move work? <laughs> um, probably not. I'm going to probably just not. What would make that move? This move? No, that move? No, that's just... This? That? 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 <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to attack. You guys did find a very interesting fight. to play something like R12, but I can't, that doesn't work. I also want to play something around L or M18, I can't yet really, mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's cool to tip in. So, again, play to get strong, let White choose which group to help, and I'm going to attack the other group, I'm not thinking. Mm -hmm. No, I like your move, I like your move a lot. It's very optimistic, it's forward thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean that. I don't mean that in like the sense that it's 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 gonna die. It does involve reading the long sequence out that happens when White cuts at O fifteen, though. So hopefully you did that and found a good result. And you played that knowing that White can't cut there for for a good result. <laughs> <laughs> 
And if you, and if that if that's what you read and 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 you, re, you know white can't get a good result there, which white I don't think white can actually get it. It's really close. It's actually a hard read after the cut at O fifteen. Um, then O thirteen is probably the strongest move you could have played. So certainly worthy of a top candidate kind of move. Rebound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my original one. Because... <sighs> I think that can win. I think that will be fine. That's only doing one thing though, right? I and mean, that's just helping that one group. It's not putting pressure on any of the group. We were looking at I'm looking at R ten. Which R R ten <clears throat> So the shape is actually bad for R10. Because you still have the attachment at R12? Yeah. Okay. So the, the, hunt, the Hante shape there is actually R11, uh, if you play that side. I think, for me, for me, there's really only two candidates, right? It's, or maybe, maybe there's a third, but it's, I don't really like the third one anyway. Um, yeah, the two candidates are either R11 or O15. So not like, oh, okay. Because if you, if you don't cut, if you just help out the top group by, by sending to the L or K line up there on the top, then black just eats the three white stones? Is that the... Um, black, black can't kill them immediately, but black can make them suffer for a while before white, black has time to come back and then can fix the shape. If but, white goes up to R10, why is the attachment at R12 then? Just because it... Um, well, also, white doesn't have to attach at R12 at that point. White can also attach at R11. White can play the other attachment. So is that good? For who? <laughs> for black? <laughs> <laughs> is that... Uh, wait, so, so reading this, right, like R12, if you... Try to split, right? And that doesn't work. Ocean here, Tari, double Tari, DK. I, I, I think if black R10s, or if white R10s, I think black can play R11 and give white a really hard time about it. Uh, I mean, this thing right here is still threatened. Uh, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess. That's gonna be. That's gonna be big. Oh, and, and you know those two spells. Those three spells. Oh, what are we doing? Okay, whatever. Oh, Text. Okay. Uh, black is this going to N fifteen? It's a little bit slow, but it'll keep the game simpler. to protect my white group that has one goate eye at the moment. Uh -huh. So I'm thinking I'm thinking about playing K eighteen no well K seventeen maybe a little more dangerous. This just seems too small and that extension there probably doesn't even I don't think it's a big name, but you know. It seems too big. No. Not bad. This? Uh, one up. This? Yeah. I thought that was. 
I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah, super safe. Okay, we'll just. Uh, oh, I just don't know. I just don't. One of four positions we rolled before. I like this move. I, 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 obviously, I was having a lot of trouble deciding. Yeah, what, I like. I like this of, one. I like this point. it will become stronger and then it will be able to push out easier. So that's definitely gonna live there, right? I think it's gonna live anyway. <sighs> this move doesn't make any Seems like attacking this at least we can get some territory. We I reveal my allegiance to the black. The black player. Right. This is hard. <laughs> yeah, go is hard. I said it before, uh -oh. I'll say it again. Go is nice. hard. I would have gone one line further. That's good. That's good, but I would have gone further. But nice move. Good. I think I was to. I'm losing my touch. Yeah. That's so not a lot. Hmm. Uh, White will play R15. White, White could have played R16, technically, but it leaves bad out you for everybody. Big move, very big move. Uh, 
Now that I play it, Mike has a white side is big. Yeah, white side is bigger, so maybe that that wasn't. I don't actually have to capitalize on. So I understand why. Probably not. Alright, that's that's what I said. <laughs> Yeah, this, this feels slow. I would have, uh, if you want, a move that does kind of a similar thing is like G16. Oh, I see. That was another point I was sort of eyeing. eyeing. Yeah, this looks a little, like it might be a little over-concentrated. So it, it, uh, it went to G16. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, can't like still come in and play like a like a D12 shoulder hit to kind of get in. Sure, but but white will respond to D12 with F12. Uh, okay. I mean, it's going to go very differently when white has all those moves on the outside than you know earlier on in the game when all that stuff in the lower left hadn't been defined yet and. If black has the sort of uh, opening it around G16 still to run to, I mean, it's it's a very different situation. So if black comes okay. in deep, white will respond very aggressively. Um, all right, black wants Q10. Sounds I'm eyeing that one. When I played M3, but I was thinking that M3 kind of had, needed to happen before before this move. It, yeah, it's well. I mean, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this this move actually puts a lot of pressure on that white group because um, it'll give it'll give uh, Black some sente moves later on. I was wondering. And the difference is, if you take this move first. And and let's say white takes n three, well then you just know mm -hmm. to re you don't have to invade or even cut white. You just reduce white from the outside and black builds the whole middle. Um, M three is worth more points inherently, but you know sealing in a group is kind of uh, a big deal. You're you're putting a lot of uh, a lot of um, I don't know chickens back in their eggs for later. You know, you're building up a store of uh, of influence that your opponent doesn't have. So they're both really big. Did you call this game stupid? Is that what you said? No, no. I, 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 the view that I was thinking about was to end game. Oh, oh, good. Okay, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I just look so big now. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, nice. Are you sure that the R14 group is all good? The R14 group seems good. <laughs> I couldn't know. <laughs> okay. As long as you know that, you can play this. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, it, it, uh, it does not look like it's alive yet, but 
just seems like it seems like yeah, I think it was good to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, because remember, the R14 group also counts on not forcing Black into, or, or um, not requiring too many moves such that Black gets a move like R18 or Q18 and then can come back and attack the L17 group. Right. That's also sort of what I mean by, you know, is that group healthy? Yeah, that's a good one. I didn't think about it. Uh, I mean, right now, Black Tate, yeah, okay. Right now, I think it's 3 or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, but I guess it's Black Tate's group. Oh, my. This is... I was like, is there any way I can, like, really give that group a hard time? The, uh, the R14 group? Yeah, yeah, we're looking at moves. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, the, the move I've been looking at is, uh, actually S10. Because yeah. the thing, the thing that I wanted to do as white was, if I, if I wasn't going to play a move, like, around L5, the white move I kind of wanted to play was also, like, S9. Okay. White? white? Yeah, I think white looks, uh, I don't know, maybe that's just um, using the huge potential of another couple of moves. So, okay, well, I don't know, maybe not. I guess white doesn't have... I'm not, I'm not sure I like white. Yeah, but it seems it still seems kind of soft. It seems soft. Like I didn't go in deep enough. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right, white wants uh, N5. Yeah, N5. Oh, man. That was bad. Yeah, that's no, no, N. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, N4. I meant N4. The, N4. the shoulder hit. The shoulder hit. 
shoulder hit. Your voice has become choppy again. Damn it! <laughs> oh, no, that makes sense. Just need more, more square. Okay, so how do we want to respond to that? I don't really want that to cut off. And we also didn't respond over here. Also, some questions left to answer. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this just totally destroys the box. Yeah. Um, why not? That turns the same thing, right? So. Yeah. I mean, I, I say it'd be consistent with my play, but not necessarily. You should make your lap horizontal so that I can't even call it disease. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was thinking I could go more aggressively like that, but that seems like I have too much stuff where I can be pushed around. Um, do you trim their claws, bro? No. <laughs> I told you, I told you. Alright, uh... Yeah, sure. <laughs> Trying to gauge your reaction there. Like 04? 04? It's, yeah. it's big, but this is bigger. I mean, if white dies there, that's a huge problem, right? Oh, uh, R13 or something? Or uh, two stones that just broke I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about the O18 group. Like I didn't, I didn't. All right, I didn't do my homework. I didn't read it all the way out, but I assumed K eighteen was some version of Sente against this thing. Oh my God! What's happening? K eighteen? Oh, did you oh, play K eighteen? I played it on my board. I totally forgot to tell you to play a move. I okay. my bad. Please play K eighteen. No, 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 based on your reaction, I thought you were you were like considering some way to gently let us know how bad of a move of four was when we just played. No, so. no, no. I I just spaced okay. out and forgot I wasn't actually playing Go, and so when I did it on my board, it didn't register. Can I punish you for that? I have to. Like, I don't have two eyes in my mind. Exit there is. I don't know if it's blocked, but it's impeded by J14, so... I need to take my go-to guy here. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't want you before. Oh, I did it again. Damn it. Uh, take. <laughs> okay, yeah, so now I guess the question is... Was that sensei enough against... This group here. So moves like this don't work yet. Mm -hmm. My turn? Yeah. Live. Oh, that kind of sucks. So I guess if I play. R17, then I'll get that stone, yeah, yeah. Stone, stone, right? and then these stones might die. That would suck. I'll 
not do this. That worked? What? Well, I thought the whole reason why I played this is so easy. Well, but then I can do this and then be alive. Oh, I see, I see. That allows you to connect. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay, S17. I see, like, it's alive now, right? So, yeah. I just don't want to do an extra life. <laughs> <laughs> Only two eyes, not three. I mean, this, this is... Um, oh, is that something? Oh, maybe it's not. Here and then you cut. No, that's it. Okay, yes, that's it. Oh, that's like, oh, this one's dead. This one's not actually dead. Oh, I got distracted. Is it my move? It's not my move, right? It's your move. It is my move. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? Well, damn. Um, so I kind of read this out as co. No. Really? <laughs> So, okay, but, but like Q15 is Sente for light, right? So the I at R14 is a real I. Mm -hmm. So then, I understand, like, so, so then you just play T15, right? Yeah, I think, T, doesn't T15 go to Co? Why? Here, white white is playing O sixteen regardless. O O O O sixteen. Okay, I mean I don't want all my stones to die. So my my black stones. Yeah. Berlin team team. Uh, I gotta double check this co though. Maybe it's not actually co. Yeah, maybe it's not co. Maybe white can actually make a second eye cleanly. Okay, white defended. Um. 
Wait, was it even my turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I can't. Right. Um, okay. Black wants M18. M18 looks pretty nasty. So, what happens if I play there? I was just, just mousing over that. Hmm. That is a legitimate movie now, though. Well, I mean, it doesn't work for sure, it doesn't seem like. Uh, I'm still trying to read it out, so. Yeah. Right. Sure. I'll do something like that instead. You don't have to do that. <laughs> uh, you could let White live if, if the reading goes poorly here. I'm not sure what other moves to play, though. Oh, why, why not just M17? Why? Uh, M17 here? Uh, no, no. Oh, oh, for White or for Black? Yeah, no, for, for White. Like, I, I don't know what other move besides this to try to play. God. Uh, Already a computer. Uh, what happened? We're trying to, we're you've broken to... everything. Do I need to take back control? <laughs> Is that Sorry. how this needs to go? Alright, never mind. Well, I was dropping my question. Oh, I, was, I was saying, for Black, Black doesn't need to play this way. Right, Black Black could have just pulled out at M17, and that's a big gain for Black. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah just, just keep that down and let yeah. White live small. Okay. Yeah, this this is uh, very difficult now. Yeah, in fact, I think that's what Black should have done. So, White plays L18. Yeah, I think Black should have pulled out. I think this is a little unreasonable. This is like balls out, kind of trying to kill. This is what I would do. What? How? How did you do that? Well, because I don't know what I, I didn't think about it. I got like, no. Oh, you just came out cutting our losses. No, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking here, there, and there. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's still thing. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, okay, otherwise, this is what you're looking at? Yeah, it's like two different. Or 
bring your airports. Now you give up? I'm not giving up. This is, this is yeah, White's alive now. Is this White alive? Yeah. It's not Cope. Yep. Black, Black the, the, un, the N19 move was a little bit too much. What? That's uh, It's Matt's turn, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to figure out why it's not Co. It's not Co. Can't do this. It's a good Go problem. Why is this not Co? Oh shit! Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah. not cool. Ah. Yeah, I did not see it. Like well, if it actually, I'm... if it actually made a co, maybe a nineteen is playable. But even so, I think just taking you know Sente and basically you know having Black control the entire top now with strength means that invading White is going to be much easier and Black will get more points. It's if Black just I think if Black just pulled back at M17, this is a really hard game for him to lose. Uh, he'd have to really screw up an invasion. All right, so White took that. So that my my whole thing at the top with Black, I tried to start with K18, was a complete failure. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this yeah, this is something. <laughs> uh, all right, I want a P two, please. P two. Oh yeah. Okay. What is that we had already? No. No. That seems big. All right. Can Anyone can still win this game now because Black uh, did not get compensation. Feels like wrong direction. I guess I'm having trouble identifying direction. It seems like Black has a way in over there at around A14, and so I don't really want to like do something. Yeah, but, I mean, well, it, it just feels like you're blocking the smaller side. And that's what it kind of feels like to me. Whereas, I mean, if you take that stone and you put it more like it around, like, let's say, K9, that gets more interesting, right? Yeah. Okay. It's still worth points. Yeah. Now, this is a lot harder to deal with. Yeah. I mean, if white, if white got K9 and then black reduced it, like, you know, F13, I'd be fine with that. But, yeah, this way now black is actually threatening to take a lot more points again. 
Whereas if he had to go towards F13, he wouldn't be. Oh, difficult. This is not easy to attack that stone. please. No, that's fine. It's good enough. Yep. Um, I like the one that you had before, the uh, Jace. Uh, I figured and it looked like Black's way of figuring is smaller than White's potential ones. So it seems like Black would be happy to trade. Whereas it looks like right now that white has enough territory that, I don't know. It looks like white has solid territory and still has inroads into black's areas, so. Mm. I don't know. It's not like a good feel for what the score is right now. Seems like white like has a decent amount of territory, though. All right, black white. wants H7. Black Walnuts, what? H7. 7. H7. Seven. Seven. Right. You're breaking up, so oh, we're going to just eight. random 7 next. <laughs> yeah, eight, H7, uh, shoulder eight, hit. H7. Yeah, Knight's move from the, uh, the... Yeah, there you go. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> really. Hold on, hold on. Is that... Oh, I see. So, so I can cut that stone off by one, but then you're going to attack the L, or kill off the L last time. Mm-hmm. 
Let's do L7. What? Boy. If, if you... <laughs> Look, what? here's the thing. If you cut it off, black will still reduce you at G3. Right? Uh, like, the, the, points, the points that you guys are trying to defend at this <laughs> point are not really there yet. Like, there's a lot of Aji. small especially since white can now actually cut at g7 j7 mostly reasonably like it's like 12 points ish dude but here, here here's the part you guys are not getting okay there's obviously like we're, we're playing two different games right now <laughs> okay because i'm still looking like there's still this k4 cut there's still this f f4 cut and remember remember our, our like our l5 and n4 stones like if those get cut off without a way to make eyes, that's that's a problem. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so yes, my eyes those look like totally safe. Like <laughs> they're just like no. No. So so, so I mean I'm I'm playing a variation on my board so the people who are watching this video in theory um, can see this. But this was the variation I was reading for black. Is black will cut off uh, the L nine stone if you guys just cut off immediately, and then if you don't seal off F F two. Uh, on you know on your next uh, sensei or gote move whatever, um, you know black can I'm just looking for a moment for black to tanuki like here, you know black can play this clamp, and basically turn that area into you know what is it one two three about twelve points, versus this area which is probably closer to twenty so like black picks up twenty points while white only gets twelve. I know you guys can't see that but. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It's it's a, we're playing different games. <laughs> Whose move is it? My move? There's a Matt's move. Uh, no, actually, it's I think it's Matt's move, right? Uh, yeah, I, I just played this really dumb move here. Okay. I, I like I appreciate how you're trying to get Black to uh, to throw the game a little bit though. <laughs> I 
based on the fact that we were just talking about like the, the two major things. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think I think you have to cut now. What's that? I, I think the cut's good. Good move. Good move. I just didn't want to do what Nick told me to do. So I can't. Sometimes it works. All right, Black plays H3. Well, no, because I mean, you, you talked about those two cuts, right? So, yeah. I just look. That's not. So, what is more important? Probably this is more important. Yeah, it's also bad because black has a G7 move too that's pretty baller. <laughs> I might have, I should have probably played G7 instead of H3 first, but either way. I think White should resign. <laughs> Dang. This is, this is, I don't know, is this depressing? Oh. No. After that, after that N18 group got away with murder, and now, this is, uh, this is depressing. <laughs> Glad we could yeah. brighten your evening, Nick. <laughs> yeah, dudes. Anytime. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. All right. So I mean, here's the problem, right? If white, if white has the time to extend to f8, black can actually cut directly to f4 now. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, no, 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 black should Atari first, I think, on the other side. Uh, black should Atari the E5 stones first, I think. Yeah, I think that's how it should go. Um, okay. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. Black should... Uh, that's not that much better. Um, black, uh, is it just... Actually, black should just play F5? Yeah, not Atari. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I think that's better. Uh, and now black can take it G2. Well, maybe maybe playing J six was big enough to take now, but probably not. Yeah, so that was that was a pretty huge gain for Black. Hmm. All right, you win. I win. The game. I don't. I don't think anyone wins Zengo. I think you guys are mistaken. Yeah. 
No, I, I, I think we can definitely say that, uh, that we lost Zengo. Maybe no one won. Nobody <laughs> loses Zengo. That's the beauty of it, man. You're, you're fun exploring things together. Yeah. Here, but here, go back, go back to the uh, the top, uh, where like the after N eighteen move. N eighteen. Yeah, go to like yeah there, and have Black just play M seventeen here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I think I think that's, you know, if you know White has to play N nineteen, <clears throat> right? And now like like the game should have been over here, right? Now Black can just reduce the bottom and left, and it's. It's too hard of a game for white. So is this all the back to like here? Like I think I think that move was really slow. Is is up here instead? And I, I, I think that's I think that's much more useful. Fair enough. Hmm. Um, and then also like missing I, even not that K nine was like the biggest move, but yeah, that's that's already smaller at this point. Like like I think I think white fell behind a little bit earlier. Um, but also, you know, I'm, you know, it just sort of depends on what you like, and Black had all the territory. Yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I used to have a lot of games, kind of like this for white, or I'm like, this bucket of holes in it, I'm trying to like, put all this water in the middle, and there's just too many holes, and Black just beat the heck out of me. Well, but, but, so, so, but here's the thing though, right? Like, this game... Um, could go sour for black if white had something to attack. Right? As soon as white has something to attack, white can get a bunch of free thickness and then turn that moyo into something massive. Mm -hmm. And so if you go back to like like the Q10 move, right? That basically prevented black from ever being attacked anywhere. Oh, here, let me show you guys a Joseki because uh, I'm giving myself control. Okay. Here's a Joseki. Uh, not that one. I could. I guess I should show you that one too. All right. This. I think Black should have gone here, and then just come here, and then this is like how it should have gone. White should have gotten Sente to go and do, you know, White Sente things. You know, like here. <laughs> I might. I'm not. I'm not sure if that's better or G16 is better, but one of those. If you're if you're if you're completely unsure, you can even play that one, right? This feels like this is all possible. Like that's how it probably should have gone, because okay. White just wants to build the middle, right? In this game, I think. But anyway, that's not the Sente move, or is the uh, or not the Sente, the Joseki move. Yeah, here still, it should just go like this. The end. Okay, and we did that craziness. Oops, is that? Oh, we had an undo. We had a or something. Yeah, here. So, so um, black can play here, and just take points. Like this is very kind of peaceful variation. But this is a lot of points. Yeah, that looks huge. Uh, of course, white will really want that now, and then maybe black play something like this. So that's a possibility. Uh, so then here's here's I'll show you the other variation. I thought I thought this would go more like this uh, Here 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 oh, It doesn't quite work white can cut through huh? Um, no, it doesn't work never mind So how did this turn out so much better for black? Maybe you have to double Hane. I thought it would go like this. Like, I thought black would pull back here. But when black played here, I I thought white should cut and then maybe play here. And if black has to pull back, um, white shape is so much better now though. So black has to maybe fix. Oh, maybe this is okay for black. Yeah, it's an exchange. Oh, that's good for black. Never mind. Huh. So, oh, the real Joseki. I was trying. I was going to show you the real Joseki. Right. Yeah. White plays here is most normal. 
Um, or white plays over here, if there's anything interesting going on over here. Like, this is basically a reduction move, right, on black's corner. So you either continue... Now, building over here isn't that interesting because black already has second line stones. So you just switch direction. And then, uh, depending on what you want, you build over here. This is actually a hard stone to completely kill off. Because if you do, number one, it can run out. Number two, it has moves like this. Oh. You know, where... <laughs> so... Like, uh, this stone's really annoying, the 017 stone. Yeah, because I was going to say, after this point, it doesn't... I mean, it feels similar, because there's still the two likers on either side that, you know, aren't alive yet, but... Um, yeah, I, I, I guess that is, that is definitely better. Than... Yeah. Here, but actually, I don't know, this fifth line move, maybe maybe I made a mistake, actually, after you played that fifth line move, and I just assumed it was crap. <laughs> and just went for it immediately. Um, hmm. If I play here first, that might be better. Eh, maybe not. It's a weird fight. <laughs> it's a really weird fight. It's so weird. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's a that's that was weird. I just I didn't solve it correctly though. Maybe this is more of a key point. Because now if you play this, this kind of reverts. Oh no, it doesn't though. It really doesn't. Because you can connect that way. And white's still kind of having a tough time. Hmm. I'll have to think about this. All right, this has stumped me a little bit. What to actually <laughs> do in here? White well, should do something. I just don't know what it is. And uh, yeah, white should definitely not play this though. That seems <laughs> kind of. Hmm. Yeah, white needs a base. I don't know. Okay, well anyway, I'm done hallucinating, I think. Okay. All right. So yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah. I, th I think this is the first game of Zengo I've recorded for my channel. I think. What's that? I think this is the first game of Zengo I've recorded on my channel. Uh, oh. oh. I've played, it, I played oh. it a bunch with my students, but don't usually record mm -hmm. it, so. So anyway, yeah, cool game. Thanks a lot. Thank you.